Digital photography isn't all that different from film photography. You can either let all of your pictures pile up or you can take the time to organize them. While most of us never take the time to organize any of our photos, digital photography makes it easier than ever to get organized and stay organized. Today on The Whole Picture, I'm going to teach you how to take the stickiness out of making photo albums and find any photo you've ever taken with only a few simple keystrokes. Get ready to say goodbye to sticky photo albums and shoe boxes, next on The Whole Picture. Welcome to The Whole Picture. I'm Erin Manning. You know, we all might have the best intentions to get organized and stay organized, but the reality of the situation is things tend to pile up, especially if you have a lot of digital images. For instance, let's say you went to a birthday party, brought your digital camera, took hundreds of photographs, brought them home, put them on your computer, and now you're trying to search for that picture of Aunt Ethel in the red hat, and it's just nowhere to be found. Well, don't worry. Today, I'm going to show you some tools you can use that will help you instantly find your digital images. Now, take a look at the software program I've been using. I went ahead and loaded all my images into it, and I created categories over here. Now, these categories are kind of like those shoe boxes full of film you put under your bed, except I've gone ahead and labeled them. I have one called Sunflowers, and if I click on it, up pop all my sunflower images. Now, let's say I want to choose one special picture here. If I look down below in the information box, this tells me what time and date the picture was taken. And then I also went ahead and entered in my own personal keywords that identify this picture to me. So if I want to search for it later, it's really easy. Here's an example. I'm going to come back up here to my library of photographs. Now, I want to search for a picture that has feet in it. Okay, so I come down here to my search window, type in the word feet, and up pop all my feet images. Isn't this great? It's a really easy way to store and find all your digital images. Now, I have a student, Lorraine Yates. She called and said she has hundreds of digital images she's trying to organize, and I promised her by the end of today, she'd have all the information she needs to get organized and find her digital images with just a few clicks of the mouse. So the first thing I'm going to teach you today is how to get those digital images off your camera, let's say you're away from your computer, and store them and organize them for later. Next, I'll show you how to get all those images onto the computer. Then, I'm going to teach you a professional photographer's little secret, how using metadata and keywords can help you easily find any digital image. Finally, I'll show you how to take all those photographs and organize them into albums. So let's start with how you actually store those images on a digital camera. You do it with something called media cards. These media cards store the images in your digital camera, kind of like the film did in your film camera. Now they come in all different shapes and sizes depending on your digital camera. They also come in different capacities. So at some point, these media cards are going to fill up with images. Now with every digital camera, comes a manual, and in this manual, you'll probably find a guide here that will show you how many images you can fit on your media card. So you buy the one that's right for you. Now the only downside about these media cards is they are pretty small and fragile, so you can easily lose them or damage them. They're not really meant to store your images permanently, and you can't organize your images with these media cards. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for Lorraine. And when we come back, I'm gonna show Lorraine how to get the images off her media card in case she's away from her computer and store them so she can organize them later. The beauty of digital photography is that you can take hundreds of pictures for next to nothing. But there's a catch. Eventually, you'll need to take them off your media card or delete them forever to make room for new ones. Next, I'll show you how to safely retrieve your digital pictures from your camera no matter where you are and you'll learn how to make finding them a snap. That's coming up on The Whole Picture. Welcome back to The Whole Picture. Whether you fill your media card once a week or 10 times a day, sooner or later, you're going to have to take your images off your camera. And once they're off the media card, well, the more pictures you have, the harder they are to find. My student Lorraine Yates loves taking digital pictures and usually has them printed out, but she has her work cut out for her. Lorraine has had her digital camera for a long time and hasn't ever organized her photos. When her media card filled up with images, she had friends transfer them to her computer, and now she has a hard time finding the pictures she wants. 
Lorraine has joined me at my studio so I can teach her how to create a better system for storing and organizing her digital photos. Yeah. And the landscape photos are really pretty beautiful sunsets. That was a good day for sunsets, but unfortunately we didn't think ahead and we didn't have enough space on our media card. Mm -hmm. You know what, that happens to a lot of people. I bet. You're yeah. out in the field with no computer with you and you run out of space on your media card so you can't take any more pictures. Right. Well, I've got a solution for you. Okay, great. There are a lot of portable storage devices you can use, which are just kind of like using a, a hard drive, bringing a hard drive with you to store your images on out in the field. Great, great Except idea. they're portable like these. Or this is a CD burner you can bring with you oh, out in the field. my goodness. A lot of professionals like to bring laptops, but if you don't feel like bringing all these big things, what I would recommend is just bringing, say, your MP3 player. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah, a lot of people have these. All you need to do is just buy the special adapter, attach it here, plug it into your camera with the cord, and you can download all the images right into your MP3 player. Oh, that's great. And you can look at them, view them right here, to make sure you have everything. Now, a lot of times, whenever you're downloading images to any storage device, the storage device is gonna ask you, do you wanna automatically delete your images okay. as you're downloading them? And I would recommend not doing that. Oh, okay, now why wouldn't you wanna do that? Well, you wanna make sure that they're all in here first. So I would recommend manually going through, making sure they're all here, and then go back and delete the images on your camera. Oh, okay, well that makes sense, yeah. so you don't lose everything. Right, okay. exactly, so you do it separately. So let me show you how to use these other portable storage devices and we can figure out what's right for you. Okay. If you don't own or have access to a personal computer, a portable storage device is a great solution to store or back up your digital pictures. One option is the portable CD burner. To move your pictures from your camera, you can either connect to the CD burner with your camera's cable or insert your media card into the card reader slot. To burn your photos to a CD, you simply connect your camera or put your media card into the slot and then put a blank CD into the drive. Next, press the copy button and the device will immediately begin burning your images to the disk. If you do have access to a laptop computer, you can easily use it to store your digital pictures. You just connect through the laptop's USB port using your camera's cable, or put your media card into a portable card reader and then plug it into the USB slot on your computer. Use your camera's download software or other photo management program to transfer the pictures to the laptop. As with all portable storage devices, don't let the computer delete the pictures off your camera. Always check to make sure they've transferred and then delete them from your camera. More and more people own an MP3 player. Many of these are now designed to store your digital images. In most cases, to move photos to your MP3 player, you'll have to purchase an adapter that allows you to connect through your camera's USB cable. When the cable is connected, make sure the camera is turned on so the device sees your camera. Then simply click on Import. When all the photos have been transferred, click on Done and remove the cable. See how that portable storage device comes in handy when you're out in the field? I love that. Thanks for telling me about that. Those are great. Well, let's say you want to download images from your camera and you are in front of your computer. Okay, there are two ways to do it. Okay. One is to connect this cord to your USB connection on your camera. So it just fits right in like that. Oh, okay, that's the way I usually do it. Okay, so you plug this into your computer and download them that way. Exactly. Another way to do it is to take out the media card from your camera, like so. And this is the way I really prefer to do it, especially when I'm shooting for clients. Um, I take it out and put it into an external card reader. Oh, like I haven't this. seen one of those. Yeah, they're really, really inexpensive and very easy to use. You just pop this in here, you plug this into your computer instead, and that way you can download the images and freeze up your camera to put in another storage card, okay? So you can keep, keep shooting. Exactly, okay. keep shooting. There are a number of different ways to get your images onto your computer. The first is to connect your camera directly to the computer using the cable that was included with your camera. First, install the software that came with your camera onto your computer. This software has the specific drivers that allow your computer to talk to your camera. Installing the software is easy. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Once the software is installed, connect your camera's cable to the USB port on your camera, and then plug the other side of the cable into the USB port on your computer. Next, turn the camera on. 
The computer will then launch the software that will move the images from your camera to the computer. Click the Start button to begin. Then tell the computer where to save your image files and click Start to transfer your photos. Another way to transfer your photos is to use a media card reader. Some computers have them built in, or you can purchase one that connects to the computer through the USB port. Put the card into the card reader and the photo management software will automatically launch. The images on your card will be previewed on screen. Then simply click the Get Photos button to transfer the images. Whenever transferring picture files, you should always be sure to browse through them first to make sure they were transferred correctly. For more information on portable storage devices or moving your images to your computer, be sure to check out our website at DIYnetwork.com. So now what? You finally got your pictures off of your camera and stored safely, but how do you find the ones you want? When we come back, I'll teach you how to organize like a pro using metadata. That's next on The Whole Picture. Welcome back to The Whole Picture. Getting your digital photographs from your camera to your computer or other storage device is the first step in organizing your digital photographs. The problem for most people is once they're out of the camera, they're impossible to find. But if you know how to use the hidden information in your picture files, you can find and organize them like a pro. <laughs> Welcome to The Whole Picture. I'm Erin Manning, and I'm teaching Lorraine how to organize her digital photographs. Thank goodness, because I need help. <laughs> well, don't worry, you're not alone. A lot of other people feel the same way. Now that you've loaded all the pictures on your computer, you might be wondering, now what do I do, right? Right, I've been able to get them on the computer, but then I've had a little trouble finding them sometimes and organizing them, so this is good. Okay, well, don't worry. We're gonna use a software program today that will help you organize and easily find your pictures. Oh, good. All right. Easy, so just go ahead and double click on this camera icon and here's our software program we're going to use. Click on view and organize photos. This is the part of the software program that will help us organize and find our photographs. There they are. Here are all the images we downloaded from your CD. So let's go ahead and click on one that you really like. I love that one. Okay. Yeah. And you'll learn more information about this by finding out about metadata. I haven't heard of that. Okay, metadata is something that's embedded in each digital file in your camera. Every time you take the picture, it records information about it. And I'll show you more about it visually. If you click on this icon right there, you get the properties window. Click on metadata, and here's all the metadata that's embedded in this particular picture. The camera automatically records this. That's a lot of information. Look at all this, the date and the time it was taken, um, the f-stop, the focal length, even whether the flash went off or not. Hmm. This is information you can all use to search for your image. That's nice to have. Now it's automatically in there. Let's say you want to put in your own keywords, for instance, so you can customize the search. Come over here to general, click on that. Now, with this, you can go ahead and put in your own caption and your own keyword, so you can search for this image later. Could I do it now? Go ahead. Start getting organized. To see the metadata, you need to use your photo management or image editing software. Click on a photo to select it, and then click on the Image Properties button. Now, just click on the Metadata button to display the information. Scroll through the information so you have an understanding of what is stored and what you can search for. In addition to searching, this information is helpful if you want to know how a picture was taken. You can also add notes and a caption into your digital picture files. This data is helpful in searching your photos and will also be displayed in slideshows and when you email the photo. To add captions, go to the Image Properties window, then click on the General button and enter your caption and description. The Notes field is the simplest place to add your keywords. Once you're done, close the Properties window to store the data. Some programs use a key tag system as a way of simplifying the process of adding keywords. First, go to the Key Tag palette and make sure Tags is selected. Next, click on New on the menu bar and select New Tag. A new window will pop up called Create Tag. Choose a category and type in a keyword for the new tag, then click on OK. Next, you simply drag your key tag on top of your photos to add the keyword. Now comes the payoff from adding all the information to your image files. 
your images can now be easily searched for and found. Simply select Find from the menu bar and choose the type of search you'd like to do. Then type in the appropriate words and click on OK. The images that you assign those descriptive words to will appear on the screen. Even if you don't add any information to your image files, you can still search them out using the metadata your camera automatically adds to every file. Just choose Find by metadata from the Find menu and select the criteria for your search. When trying to find a specific picture, keywords and metadata can end up being a photographer's best friend. See how easy it is to keep your images organized and search for them? It really is. I'm surprised. Yeah. Well, go ahead and keep typing and organizing away. Okay. Your digital photo files give you all the tools you need to be the most organized photographer you know. Now, why not put them to use? Coming up, I'll show you how to use that information to organize, manage, and share your pictures. That's next on The Whole Picture. Welcome back to The Whole Picture. By properly moving your pictures from your camera to your computer, you can save and share them for years to come. Now, if you take the time to add keywords to make them easy to find, you'll quickly be able to share your excitement with friends and family. But now that you can find your pictures when you want to, it's time to move to the next step and sort your pictures into digital albums. <laughs> did you finish tagging all the images? I did, and if I wanted to add other tags later, could I do that? Yeah, sure, anytime you want to do it. This is a really easy software program to use. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to give you the final step in organizing all your digital images. And that's by creating a collection, or some software programs call it an album. Like a photo album we used to put together. Exactly. Okay. Remember, you'd have, say, a Girl Scout album or an album of all your favorite boyfriends oh, or sure. whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Did a lot Same of those. thing here. You just um, take pictures that are of a certain similar nature and put them into a collection or a group. Okay, so let's start to make one. We'll go over here and click on Collections, the Collections tab. Click on New, roll down to New Collections, and go ahead and call it whatever you'd like whatever kind of album or collection you'd like. All right, how about my favorite niece? Okay, that's a good one. She's my only niece, so <laughs> I won't get in trouble. That works. <laughs> all right, now this is where having all that metadata and keywords, key tags, really pays off. Now remember how you searched for those other images? I do, actually, okay. so you're gonna test me here. So you go to find. Okay. And now you're gonna roll down to? By caption or note. Okay. And then I'll type in a tag. Yeah, type yes. in your keyword, your key okay. tag. Now you wanna click on this, it says match any part of any word. It's just a good idea to click on that if you want to search everything in the keywords for that name. All right, now you have all the pictures of Elise. Here's a really easy way to drag them into your collections is to come up here to the menu bar and click on Edit and roll down to Select All. This selects all the images. You can see they're all highlighted here. If you click and drag on one of these images, click and drag it up to your collections folder all the images will transfer over. Oh, that's nice. So you don't have to do each one individually. Exactly. Oh, and you can okay. tell they're all in there because you've got a little album under each picture. What's great about digital photography and using these collections is you can have the same image in multiple collections. Oh, I like that. And I'll show you how. Just come up here to the collections and click on new. Let's create a new collection and call it kids. Okay. Okay. Now what you can do is you can drag, manually just drag pictures of Elise into the kids folder, along with pictures of other kids into the oh, kids folder. I like that. So it's a great way to keep things organized and you can manually do it too. Okay, so go ahead and keep clicking and keep organizing okay, here. Okay, this is great. If you'd like to learn more about organizing digital photographs or anything you saw here today, just log on to our website at DIYnetwork.com. Okay, Lorraine, did you finish pulling all the kids' images into that collection? I did, and it was really easy. Okay, well, great. This is the other easy thing about the software program. If you double-click now on kids, all the kids will show up. Oh, there they are. See how easy that is? That's great. So do you feel more organized now? I do, thank you so much. I feel like I can go home and get it done, and it's pretty easy. Oh, great. Well, it was fun working with you today. I had a great time. Good. I hope you'll take what you learned today and organize your own digital photographs. Join me next time on The Whole Picture. All right, now we can go in. I'll just click Escape, and let's double-click on My Favorite Needs.